case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in the 1931 case of goodell v cecil b demille pictures corp the district court of appeal of the state of california focused on a dispute between a motion picture actress and a company in which the company unlawfully terminated the actress's contract before its end. The contract allowed for yearly extensions with increased compensation, and the company extended it twice before terminating the actress's employment. The trial court ruled that the termination was not justified, as the actress did not violate the terms of the contract. The company's claims regarding the actress's alleged violations were unsupported by evidence. Therefore, the trial court awarded the actress $34,531.23 in damages. The company appealed the decision, but the appeals court upheld the trial court's ruling. The basis for the ruling was that if an employer unlawfully fires an employee before their contract is up, they have to pay the employee the amount they would have earned minus any income the employee made from other work they were able to find. In this case, the company failed to prove that the actress had earned or could have earned income from other employment. Therefore, the court affirmed the decision and denied the company's request for an order of diminution. The court clarified that it did not endorse any unnecessary or inconsistent statements in the opinion and maintained that the actress was entitled to damages, given that the company failed to prove that the damages were less than the agreed wage. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class. 